Alright, what's up YouTube? This is Boxer Wave. Um, so Al Heyman's making a lot of moves. We already know about the NBC deal where he has the major fights coming up on March and April, right? Danny Garcia defending his title. Um, well, both him and Lamont Peterson are looking to um, unify the titles at 140. Uh, we have Broner fighting, we have Thurman fighting. You know, we had a lot of fights coming up on NBC. But now he has a deal with Spike TV too, okay? Spike TV. Um, I know they hosted a lot of UFC back in the day. I don't know if they're still doing it. I don't know if they're still doing, still doing live events, all right? But um, I think they're doing Bellator right now, but I'm not sure. But anyway, boxing, Spike TV has boxing now, um, thanks to Al Heyman. And with the first card, we get uh, Andre Berto is fighting Josecito Lopez. And you also get Sean Porter against Roberto Garcia. Okay, Sean Porter is coming back from his loss to uh, Kel Brook after losing his title, all right? So we get a fight, a, welter, a night of welterweight fights, all right? Which is cool, which we pretty much get the same thing on the NBC cards too as well. A lot of welterweight, junior welterweight fights. So anyway, um, let's talk Andre Berto, all right? Andre Berto and Josecito Lopez. Um, Andre Berto recently made his return to the ring, okay? He, won he fought a journeyman. Um, it was pretty solid performance, you know. I did see the fight, can't remember it that well, but you know, it was it was a solid fight. Um, he made his return after coming off of that uh, stoppage loss to uh, Jesus Soto Carras, okay, um, who is like you know a tough like gatekeeper type fighter. You know, he's a journeyman. He's a little bit above just a journeyman. You know, he's like a gatekeeper to get a uh, bigger fights. Um, you know, one of the tougher welterweights you would have to fight in order to get a, a bigger name fight, you know, um, Soto Carras and uh, Andre Berto got stopped by him. Uh, even before that, shortly before that, he lost to Robert Guerrero. And that fight, um, that, la that fight landed Guerrero's fight with Mayweather. And he lost to Victor Ortiz. Um, and that was his first loss, okay? Uh, uh, Berto was one of the top prospects at this at, at one time. You know, he was one of the guys that, um, you know, I was extreme big fan of him coming up. You know, um, and I still am. I still am a big fan, but you know, I don't think he's the top welterweight. One of the top welterweights now. I don't think he really has much of a shot getting a, a, a title shot, or if he does. You know, I, I can't see him becoming a champion at, at this point in, in this stage of his career. You know, um, I thought he lost to Luis Colazzo. I thought he lost that fight, you know, and, and I was rooting for him, and I, I thought he lost that fight. Um, once he started fighting better welterweights, top welterweights, you know, that's when he, we saw the decline in him, okay? We saw all the holes in his game and his issues. And then you got Josecito Lopez, a guy that, you know, he he always, most of the time, most of his big fights he lost. But other than a Victor Ortiz fight, um, he broke Ortiz's jaw on that fight. Um, Jose Cito lost most of his bigger fights. He lost to Maidana. He lost to uh, Canelo. Um, uh, he's he's lost several fights in the past, okay? He just, he lost, he even lost to like Edgar Santana back in the day, you know, um, uh, he beat Victor Ortiz, you know, and that was his claim to fame, kind of. Kind of. But other than that, you know, he he really hasn't. Uh, I wouldn't call him like a top tier welterweight, you know. He's like a top thirty welterweight, you know. He's a tough fighter. Um, he has a lot of heart, no doubt, you know. But um, he's not like a big puncher, you know. His, his skill set is, you know, above average, but. You know, I seen Josecito Lopez last fight, and I believe it was on Fox Sports One, and it was a card like a lot of other up and coming fighters. I think Charlo Twin was on that fight, a card. I think uh, Julia J Rock was on that card. I, I can't remember, but I remember watching the fight, and he was fighting some journeyman, and the guy he was fighting was getting him some trouble, you know. And for him to try to make a comeback right now, 
and get on top at 147 again, it, that fight really didn't impress me. You know, um, just really wasn't that impressed. And some of you might say the same thing about Andre Berto, like in his last performance, you know, um, for him to be a champion, a former champion, you know, and, and getting paid well, you know, he used to get paid well for his fights on HBO. It's just not impressive to a point where, you know, I right, he's back. You know, he's going to be, you know, he's going to, he's about to make his mark back at the, the welterweight division. The welterweight division is tough, man. You got all these young guys coming up. You even got guys like Errol Spence coming up right now. And people are already questioning whether or not how, you know, how good he is and how, how good he is compared to like the top 10 welterweights. So I don't really see Andre Berto is the better fighter between the two. Okay, in my opinion, um, I think he's more athletic. I think he has more power. I think he has more speed, and I think he's just more skilled than Josecito Lopez overall. But the thing is, I have a feeling that for some reason this fight is going to be closer than most people would think. You know, I see Berto winning the fight by decision, but I don't think he's going to look good winning. You know. I think the fight might be pretty good because Berto has a lot of heart. He'll slug, he'll exchange with you. Even guys that are bigger punches to him, you know, there's no reason why he should be exchanging with guys like Soto Cross. You should try to outbox him. But he didn't, you know. Um, and then you can make the argument that Berto was just always overrated, you know, because he, he, he's, he seems to be easy to hit at this point in his career. He's, he seems like he has no upper body movement. You know, you get him on the ropes and it's over. You know, you put some pressure on Berto, it's over. You know, and you have some kind of punching power, you can beat Berto. Um, Josecito Lopez is not a guy that's going to back down from Berto. You know, if he, you know, uh, he has a lot of heart. You know, and so does Berto. And I, I see it being a very good competitive fight. Um, if this was at a different point, I would expect Berto to have, you know, dominated Josecito Lopez. But I think this is going to be a competitive fight. You know, I think it, it has potential to be it. You know, uh, Berto should beat him easily, but it's not going to happen. I, I just don't see that happening at this stage of Andre Berto's career. Um, but I still expect him to win by decision. I'd be impressed if he were to stop him. Um, you know, he was... Impressive, like when he beat Carlos Quintana and stopped him. That was a very impressive win because um, Quintana had beat Paul Williams. He uh, gave him his first loss, and for Berto to beat him and stop him, it was very impressive. But Berto now in these days, I'm really not sure. You know, I'll be impressed if he was to stop Lopez. But um, it could be a good fight, you know. And I'm not completely ruling out Josecito Lopez. It's just I think it's a very slim chance he'll win this fight. All right, because even though Berto defensively and is not that great and he does have major stamina issues, I still see him winning the fight. I think Josecito Lopez's best shot at winning is just keeping the pressure on him. All right, um, keep moving forward, you know. Um, keep moving forward, get Berto on the roof ropes and make it a rough fight you know smother him smother Andre Berto that's his best way of winning uh, I, if it's a boxing match and you know if there's distance between the two of the fighters the whole time Berto should dominate him but Lopez is going to have to smother him every minute of each round you know because Berto do, does not have great stamina and he's not that great defensively All right, he doesn't move his head he has a stiff neck it's very easy to hit him, okay? Um, but we'll see. You know, I, I have Berto winning this by decision. Um, very positive. It's possible for him to get the stoppage, but I see Berto winning this fight, okay? Another thing, too, um, another reason why Lopez got to smother him and keep the pressure up and keep the, you know, close the distance between the two is, is he gets some good shots and Berto's eyes have the tendency to just it, blow up, you know? He... His face gets swollen when he gets hit. You know, he takes damage and it looks bad when he gets hit. You know, we saw that in the, the, the Soto Karras fight and the uh, uh, the Guerrero fight. All right, so um, to smother him, you know, make it a dirty fight with Berto. That's the best way uh, Lopez could win this fight to me, in my opinion. All right, so anyway, should be good. It's going to be on Spike TV, 
and it's gonna be on the uh, uh, you got uh, Sean Porter making his return on that night too so anyway make sure you subscribe and leave comments alright